Get in the back, Pop. A stretch limo. Oh, that's pure class, Jim. The Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here! Which makes me a movie producer's kid! Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah. You see the Street's Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Finewood? You hear that, Finewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. V to the I to the P. Jimmy. Read my neck rolls. Entitled E. N. T. Uh, titled. Cause I am. Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey, you made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up pretty late. Uh, of course they will. Hi. Thanks, Antonio. Hey. Give me nice and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Uh, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. Uh, pervert. <laughs> come on. No, 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 no. Let's go She's over here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um... Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? 
You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife, seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim, come on! Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? Come on! The girls might be in trouble at the house! What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit-can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right, okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. That's not a family car. All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll, I'll go get the girls. He's home, you, you ass pricks! Down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Please. Clear the house! All occupants! Frag out! Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get Ooh. the fuck off me. <sighs> I, I thought I was on that guy. Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't sure on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. That's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. You missed the show, buddy. Trouble at home? You came for my family, asshole? Oh, I thought going after women was fair game. Molly died in an accident while following your orders. And I'm sorry for that, okay? Well, accidents happen, don't they? Hey, send your private army after me if you have to, pal. I won't be hiding.
What up, Can big somebody dog? get me a sandwich? Just need to chill the fuck out at your place, man. So, uh, this is it. Arr. Hope you and Michael will be able to, uh, let each other move on in peace. I just hope he keeps his fucking mouth shut, you know? I mean, when the heat comes, and we both know we pull this off, it's gonna come. Yes, it will come, and I think that he will. And Franklin? And Franklin what? You gonna keep your mouth shut? Why? Because I've squealed like a bitch so far? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet! <laughs> you know, bit of heat. A few years back there in the Midwest, and your boy Michael... He changed his name! Well, the way he tell it, it wasn't that clear. Hey. Sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me, right, enough! Huh? Enough! You're... Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh... This is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage. And then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To, uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. They're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, purr, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Well, he's had my back on every job since I got up and running again. He deserves a shot at the big one. Eh, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good, and she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. I'm not gonna pass her up. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. 
Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. This guy, Ricky, I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Let's take a chance on him. This is the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. I don't know if it's gay or not. I don't even know what month it is. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Bantam Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Stalin, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? So you're gonna drive into me? Eyes front, okay? There's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um... That's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> Me! Ow. I recognize those... Who is that animal? You can have your idiot son! Let me take you home. Thank you. Shit. Fuck, man. You, do you think? Do you think it's over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone. Are you sure? Cause the dude holds like a grudge, and, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. 
Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. He'll stay away. But, but I'm like his troll, Pop. Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly? Enough! All right? E fucking enough! I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Hey. Yeah, good times, great times. The fucking fun you have. The troll is back in his lair. Now stay off the internet for a while, and don't wind people up so much. I learned my lesson, Dad. I did. Yeah, sure. And I'm a tax account. Shit, this stinks!
that new one, the one that just came out. It's about the finance guys. What's it called? Meltdown. Restricted access. Get up. Uh, officers report a criminal resisting arrest on um Tennessee Boulevard. some of those spikes just for the UD job, man. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take the score. Shit for the government, they owe me. 